I take a chance every day I walk through this door. This is why I schedule my guests when they come in one at a time so I don't have people on top of one another. With the recent uptick in COVID cases across the state, the risk of contracting or spreading coronavirus to her clients is something Orangeburg hair stylist Medisa Bell says she doesn't take lightly. I spray all the time. When it becomes too many people, I open up doors. I'm not taking any chances. During Tuesday's Orangeburg City Council meeting, council members approved a 60-day emergency mask mandate. It will require folks to wear masks in businesses, restaurants, city buildings, and large gatherings within city limits. Council was just looking at try ways to try to better protect the, the public from the spread of, of COVID. From August 11th to the 24th, DHEC data shows almost 700 positive COVID cases have been reported in Orangeburg County. A party supply business owner in downtown Orangeburg says that data is one reason why he requires customers to wear a mask. I have a sister, she's special needs and she can't talk to us. So we have to be very careful around COVID with her because she can't tell us if she gets sick. Orangeburg City Administrator Sydney Evering says residents could pay a fine if they're not masking up. $25 for customers and $100 for the business owner. It's not meant to be punitive. It's, it's just to, to really protect the public and, and remind you know people to, to wear masks. For Street Squad Orangeburg, I'm Devin Johnson.